morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is brenda so if you are new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back let me go ahead and preface this by saying i want to apologize because i will probably be sniffing throughout this video something ravaged my home it hit me my daughter my grandchildren my husband and so we have just been so sick so whatever this um thing is it went from being a upper respiratory to bronchitis to stomach virus um and it's just lingering so if i sound nasally um that's why if i'm constantly sniffing that's why but in today's video i know in a previous video i indicated that i did not want to share um, my home i wanted my home to be a little bit more private you know there are people on my channel that did subscribe to my channel just for the home content so today's video we will be sharing some home content so if you're interested in that kind of thing, please stick around um, for the video and I will share with you everything that we were able to find and um, possibly how we're styling it as well. Okay, stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got back. It is Saturday morning. Good afternoon, Brenda G. Today is Saturday, February 17th. Thank you. So today is Saturday, February 17th. We have gone out early this morning. We tried to get out early because it looked like it's going to rain today. So we went and picked up a few items. So I'm going to show you what we picked up. Excuse the way I sound. I am still sick, still trying to recuperate my husband and I, but we had to go out. So let's start with what I have here. So for meats, we always go, when we go shopping, we like to buy our meats at the IGA. So anytime I buy meats, is coming from an IGA. I do not buy meats from Walmarts and Sam's and stuff like that. No, I like my meats to come from an IGA. We have ribeyes here that we purchased, and this is going to be for tonight's supper. This here was a um, pork loin that my husband purchased, um, and he just had them cut up the whole loin and set it aside and get it ready for us. So we'll go back in here and separate it, portion it out for like two to three per bag and put them in the freezer. These here, I've been wanting lights to go underneath my cabins. So when I saw these in... um. TJ Maxx, I told my husband I wanted them, so he got them for me. So these are the lights that we purchased. So these are going to go under the um, cabinets. Of course, when we were leaving the store, we came across these girls out here with these Girl Scout cookies. So my husband bought four bag, four boxes. One is already open. Here, we, my husband likes these. I don't even know. I think there's some kind of little drinks. So he got apricot, apple, the strawberry banana, peach. And a pineapple and he also bought me a coconut um pineapple but i didn't like them I, I just can't get used to the taste i don't like them my husband went shopping with me y'all so <laughs> he went in tj maxx and he picked up these plates here um dinner plates because we need more plates um these were 12.99 and um we have new plates up there but some things i don't like to use and my husband knows that so he felt like we needed some more plates, so we got this little four-pack of um, plates here. Um, this I saw, and I wanted to try it. This is smoky paprika chipotle, and it says it's good for chicken, tacos, and soup. So I wanted to try that. Then we got the Himalayan pink salt or Himalayan salt. Yeah, pink salt, and this is the fine grind um, out of TJ Maxx. Let me see if the price is on it. Now, the price on this one here was five, no, $9.99 which was um i think it's a good size we bought this for bella so she needed shampoo so we got this ray dunn oatmeal two-in-one um dog shampoo puppy shampoo for 6.99 this is the himalayan pink salt the fine grind and i got that for 7.99 the girl scout cookies were five each and then i always get crunchy munch anytime i go in the store if i see them now these here are mason jars we have several of these in our cabin above the refrigerator, they store a lot. They hold a lot. So anytime we see these, we pick them up. So now this one was $7.99 for this size here. And this is a good size mason jar with the top and everything. Um, three liter jar. And then this one here, these two are identical. And this is a 3.5 liter. And this one was um, 10. So this was $9.99 each. So we got two of those. And then today I wanted to make some bread from scratch and I don't have a loaf pan. So I told my husband to get me one. Now this was a Cuisinart, um, heavy gauge steel and it's real heavy. Um, loaf pan, it was 6 dollars 
So we got that. And then over here for Bella, Bella needed a bed. So I was able to find her this um, little bed here, um, something that I can lay down and she can lay on top of it and be comfortable. So this was $19. And then um, here in the corner um, in the living space, I had a key thing over there that holds keys. And for whatever reason, the little end started breaking off. So what I decided to do when I saw this, I told my husband I was going to get it so we can put it back in the corner. And I like this because it does have a shelf on top. So we're going to put this in the corner to hang our coats and hats and stuff to replace the one that we have there. Let me see if I can show you. The one that I currently have here um, currently has my... Hold on. All right, so this is the one I currently have. See, the little ends are broken off. And I don't think it was ever meant to hold stuff like that, just keys. And the granddaughter started throwing it up there, and I just kept doing it too. So we got a nice, nice big one to go there. So we're going to be replacing that one. And um, so, yeah. And then for Bella, we bought her a new bowl on a stand because she is growing so fast. Bella has jumped. She is. Um, she was born in November twenty fifth, so she's th almost three months old, and she is. I mean, her food, her eating habit has definitely changed. So she needed something, and so I always feed her right over there. So I'm gonna probably. I don't know if I'm gonna feed her here or there, or I may put it over here by the window. I'm not sure yet, but um, this is her new bowl that we purchased her out of um, TJ Maxx, and this was nineteen dollars. And then here, I found this vase. I've been looking for a vase to go either on this table, because currently, I still have my Christmas set up out here on the table, which I use this vase year-round. Um, but I wanted something on this table that, you know, so I can put this one up. So when I saw this vase, it kind of resembles another vase I've been seeing floating around. And I like it. So um, this vase was $29, I want to say. Um, $29. Um, so I'm going to be using this base. I'm not sure if I want to put it on this table or on the bar, but um, to use with it, I got these flowers for $7.99. So I thought these would be really pretty to go in the vase. And then also I got these here for um, $9.99. So I thought these would be real pretty also. So yeah, so I'm just going to decide what I want to do. I think that vase would look really pretty on this bar here um, because of the way the white flows up and through here. Um, that's what I think. So I think I'm going to put the white, the vase I just bought here, and then this black vase is going back on the table where it was. So yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do. But right now, um, I just wanted to show that, share that with you real quick. So, this is a Suma vase absolutely beautiful piece i saw this piece and i just knew i had to have it it's beautiful it has all of the golden details and i love the way the colors match very well with the mirror here um the lighting back here is pretty bad so i'm gonna try and put a little light on as much as i can to try and but this is some of these absolute beautiful piece i love all of the actual colors on it here i love the lizards here on the piece i love those beautiful colors and then if you pay attention guys look at this and it's really heavy it's a really heavy piece um i saw this online and i knew i wanted it so this is one of the pieces that we were able to purchase um and I think it is the most beautiful thing. And again, if you see how well it plays with this mirror here, it really looks really pretty back here. So this is the perfect piece to stand at the end of the hall with my mirror. And then in here, this is the other vase that we found. Excuse me, a picture we found. This is a black and white picture. And it has these beautiful colors in it. To me, they look like different vases. I guess it depends on... Whoever is looking at it, what you see. I see vases. And so for that reason, I compared it with this vase here um, on this table. Disregard my cake plate. I need to put that up. But I thought that this vase um, looked really good with the picture here. 
tying it in with the bed colors we have here. So I thought that was really pretty. So the only thing I need to do is come back here and um, pull out these previous nails out of the wall and finish this area here because I'm going to be going in with some curtains. We're going to paint it this summer and change out the rug here. So yeah, so this is item number three. All right, guys, and right here, this is item number four. So this is the fourth item that we found at the consignment shop. This is like a beautiful bowl. I wanted this bowl because I need something for my kids to put their keys in. Anytime they visit, this is what they do. This is a decorative bowl. It says it's from Crate and Barrel. Um, don't know where it's really from, but this was a really good piece, I thought, um, that would serve not only as a decor piece, but would also serve as a placeholder for keys. And um, sometimes my kids will leave their phones in there. Now, I had it on this um, counter here, but I moved it because I'm going to be changing this look out. I don't like this. I'm not happy with this at all. So I'm going to be changing this out. But um, right now, I'm just sharing with you the pieces that we were able to find. And these are the elements. This is what it looks like. And that's exactly how it came. I was going to paint it, but... I changed my mind and then when you swing over here these are the bar stools that I was able to find now these came from let me lift them they are so heavy it takes about two hands to lift them these I got off of Facebook marketplace absolutely beautiful bar stools let me put a light on here absolute beautiful bar stools the guy only had two of them they were $160 and of course, I fell in love with the claw foot. Um, the detail here on these bar stools are just to die for. Look at the detail. I thought they were just the prettiest thing. And they do have the self return. Like when you get out of them, you spin the seat around, it will return on its own. And I thought that these were just really beautiful. And this is what the back of them looks like. So yeah, so we've decided to go ahead with these. We wanted black bar stools, but when I came across these, I could not pass it up. So we went with these. So we finally found the bar stools. And so with the bar stools, I think I like how they look. Okay. Now this piece here did not come from a consignment shop. This piece came from TJ Maxx. I found this at TJ Maxx and I knew it would be perfect for the bar stool area, especially um, with the bar area, especially with the new bar stools. I love the way the colors play well together. I went with this Lazy Susan um, and with the decor pieces here. The color on this vase um, does um, have like a bluish greenish color to it. Um, and it does match the color of the paint. This color here is a silver strand paint color. And I love how good that vase looks on this. So yeah, so this is one other thing that we've updated and put in our home. Um, so yeah, so I love how good all of this is looking together. I'm trying to put my bar stool back, y'all. It is so heavy. But yeah, so now this is what it looks like. So when you come down, this is what this area is looking like. And I like it very much. I love how good that looks. Okay. All right, and so now we're going to go upstairs, and I'm going to share with you the bookcase and how we put the bookcase together, okay? Hold on. All right, and then here in the man cave here, this is the um, another piece I found at the consignment shop. Now, this is a black and gold vase, beautiful vase, really tall. Um, it came with these black flowers in it that I'm definitely not liking. Um, so, so far I have not done anything with the vase. It is just simply sitting in the closet until I decide what I want to do with it, if anything at all. But this is another piece that I found at the consignment shop. Last video I shared with you all that we had turned this closet into our seed starting closet. So that meant we had to pull out this huge bookcase that we had here. So since then, I've gone in and I have styled the bookcase. So this is how we styled the bookcase here. Now I've had my DVDs for years. It looks like my husband's been in here and moved something, but that's okay. 
I have had these DVDs for years and what I decided to do, I wanted it to remain masculine because this is my husband's area. Now this side is where I work, but still this is his room. So what I wanted to do was in Include some of his um, pictures, his family pictures, my children. So these two pictures here are going to go up here. And then I have two smaller ones. And above, I'm going to make a gallery wall here. And then, let's see, does my brightness off? And then here, I went in with these beautiful um, vases. I thought they were masculine enough. This big bowl here. This run forest, run sign, my daughter purchased my husband. This little tree, um, this little tree picture frame holder, I've had that for years. Um, I mean, when my kids were really small. Here is a, um, what do you call it when the guys go out there on the water? Um, ski board? Not skiing, but I don't know what you call it. But that my husband loves to get out there on that water. And um, mess around. So this is what we, my daughter purchased him. So I thought this would be good in his um, area. I used these two books to give some height to these items here. And this is just his. Um, he's into Star Wars. So this here little statue and sword I thought would be perfect. I have my granddaughter's picture here. On this shelf I have a beautiful little. A few little DVDs stacked up. And um, this little um, sign. I gave my husband this when I first met him. I gave him this sign when I first met him. And then below, I just have these few little pieces here. Try to um, style the DVDs in a way to draw interest. So they are not all just in one level. Here below, this frame here, I found this on Wayfair. And this was supposed to go in the hallway. But it was so small, I didn't put it in the hallway. But it came with this really pretty saying... Um, scripture and I thought it would be really nice I added a picture here more DVDs and on the bottom shelf is some picture frames I need to add some pictures to and then right in the center is a memorial for our dog Paris which we lost almost a year ago so this is what we did for the bookcase and this is how I am styling the bookcase I love how good this looks again we don't have that many books on here um, this is uh, more of the movie room anyway, so the DVDs, I think, added um, really good interest here. So yeah, so this is how we style the bookcase. Alright guys, so I'm in my kitchen. I waited until dark. It's a couple of days later. I have been so sick. Um, whatever that was, I was dealing with jump back on me. I've been back to the doctor twice since we started this video. So hopefully this round of steroids will clear it up. So um, in this section here, I wanted to show you um, that we were able to, let me see, get the little lights put on here. So I put one here and then I put one there and then down here, it only came with a three pack. So I put one there. I still feel like I should have had one to go here, but um, let me show you what they look like. So it came with this little remote here. So this is the remote. And now it does have a timer on it and you can change the light setting, the brightness. Now the only thing I hate about it is, I don't think it's, um, I'll just show you. Now you see when I cut it on, this one came on and that one. Now I have to hit this button again. Okay, let's see. See? Now, all three of them are on. But this is what it looks like with all three of them on. I mean, they're bright enough. Um, let me cut the light out. This is how bright they are now. I can change the brightness by hitting that button. Um, so yeah, so I think it gives me a little something um, for underneath my cabin space. So I mean, I like it pretty good. Bella, you're not supposed to be back in here eating. You know what, I'm so sick of this puppy. Eight o'clock at night, why are we eating? So I'm gonna go take this food from her. But anyway, so yeah, this is the little light. So I think I'm gonna go back and get Possibly one more to go under here. So anyway, so this is what it's looking like. So I like that very well because when I put the, when I come down here and I'm getting ready to make my coffee or if I'm just going to make tea, this does give me, let's see how much lightness it gives me when I'm looking in my tea drawer. So I mean, it gives me a decent amount of light when I'm standing right here. 
So yeah, so that is what the lights look like here in the kitchen. So if you want something inexpensive, they didn't cost that much, um, that does um, give you the little bit of extra light you need under your cabins. My area is not that big. Consider these little lights. And I just keep my little remote right here in the drawer. All right, and now, so when we swing around, I wanted to show you here in the living room, um, I did change out a few things here. Um, the only thing we changed out in the living room was I turned my table the long way because I felt like that gave me more, made my living room more open, if you can see how much more open it is. So that's what we did, and I do like how this lantern looks here on this table with these um, extra light flowers in this vase. I do like that pretty good. So now I'm on the hunt for, excuse my pillows, everything is a mess in here. Again, I'm still recuperating. I love how good this looks, the vase, the chairs, the bar stools. I love how this setup looks. So I'm on the hunt for something to go here, which I think what I'll probably do is put my, probably put those books right there, right up here and put my candle up here. And I think that's all it will need. As a matter of fact, let's try it real quick. Because I was supposed to be going out and pick up a few things. I just really haven't had the time. Because I've been sick and nor have I had the desire. Honestly. That's all it needs. Right there. I think that looks fine. And the only thing I would probably do is put. Find me two pictures to go up there. But for right now this is going to do. I'm happy with the way everything looks. Here in the living space. So that's the only. Oh and let me show you while I'm down here. In the corner, the little um, coat rack, the hook that we put here. This is the um, new coat rack here that we bought and put here. So now this one is a lot more sturdy. So it, you can hang double coats here, keys, whatever. It does have a little shelf here as well. So my husband hung that very nicely. And I think it looks good in this corner. I'm still able to keep my mirror there. So that's going to conclude... Um, the video for this week and until next time you guys be safe bye